Ubisoft is in a special position. Once flaunted as the company that would release banger after banger, the company has seen somewhat of a downward slope on most of their IPs. I know Assassin's Creed still sells, I understand that, but we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me <laughs> it seems Ubisoft has become the fast food restaurant of the gaming industry, and this feels like such a fall from grace. Games like Prince of Persia and Splinter Cell haven't seen the light of day in over eight years. Their long-standing IPs are starting to get monotonous, releasing the same copy and paste games every year. I don't want that. So this video is an attempt to make Ubisoft great again. To go back to our old roots, to go back to our old games. And in the video, I'm going to explain how we can do that. Without further ado, let's go. Look at my African American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? Step one, change the open world just a little bit. It's time to change. Yeah! Yeah! Ubisoft's most popular games usually contain a vast open world. But lately it's felt as if it's been quantity over quality. Although these worlds are massive, what they contain feels so bland, so empty. It feels like substance over style and pulls away from immersion. These worlds need the opportunity to have a heartbeat. Ubisoft have done this before within the streets of Venice. Although graphically aged, Assassin's Creed 2 still manages to invite me in a world, unlike Valhalla, where Sweden and England felt exactly the same. If these open worlds could be made smaller, it would allow for Ubisoft to focus on the smaller things that build these worlds and the characters that inhabit these worlds. And that leads into... Why an age if we're thinking there'd be some kind of ceremony or training or something? That's not how this shit works, man. We're just winging it, you know what I'm saying? In recent years, Ubisoft have opted to create a lot of bland characters who stop at face value. And it's upsetting coming from a company that created two of my favorite characters, those being Ezio and Bayek. Characters now have this bland, soulless feel to them. Ubisoft has opted to go for the build your own character archetype. Although cool in perspective, it robs us of narrative decisions. Characters seem to not have love interests or family. Instead, they focus on an overly broad goal that stretches across the whole game, either taking down this corporation or settling down in England. Then sub stories are built within these worlds that aren't as interesting. The reason Ezio is such a loved character is because we got to see him grow and see him change. We saw his motivations change and thus grew attached to him. This exact reason is why I cannot connect to characters like Avel or Danny. I'd love for Ubisoft to go back to their focus narratives that allowed characters to have meaningful relationships and feel fully a part of the world they live in. Sleep. I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows and I will kill you all. Everyone who snipped the air that day in Siwa! I think Ubisoft should let characters have multiple games to flesh their characters out. This may be personal to me, however, as I truly believe Bayek deserved the trilogy and Aiden Pierce deserved the second game. Instead, we jump from world to world and character to character with such large shifts we have to rebuild connections using the same architects from the old games. This does create a jarring effect where every game starts to feel somewhat the same. I'd rather have characters that go into multiple games and have a whole arc. Ubisoft is used to doing this as well, as seen in their older games, and this leads into... Some of Ubisoft's games have been forgotten by the public. Instead of innovation and creativity, Ubisoft has gone for a much more stagnant approach, reusing the same archetype over and over in hopes of creating success. Iconic characters are being shipped over to other games in an attempt to keep the fire lit for all the fans, but that's just not enough. Some of these IPs should be given a chance to return. At one point, the Ubisoft logo used to give me a jaw of excitement. Goosebumps from just hearing the soundtrack. You never knew what you were going to get, but you knew it was about to be great. Now, Ubisoft is plagued with battle royales and zombie games, and this is really disheartening for somebody who's been invested in so many of their games. But I still have hope for the company that's given me some of my favourite games of all time. I just hope that Ubisoft manages to get their ideas fresh and create new games and new IPs and also resurrect some of the ones that have been left behind so we can get a new era of Ubisoft games. I guess a man can dream. If you like this video, check out my others. In the description are channels that I love and continually support, as well as other videos similar to this. If you got a Ubisoft game you used to enjoy, try leaving the comments. Stay safe, it's been Sage, I'm out.